Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and we're here today to talk about the experiment called Electrified that David Blaine has just completed and David Blaine has spent three days and three nights getting hit by sparks from Tesla coils and there he is, a little white blob is his head and we see the sparks coming out from the Tesla coils on both sides, hitting him. There's actually eight Tesla coils that generate sparks that hit him. And to protect himself from this, he's actually wearing a suit that uses the Faraday cage principle. And basically, if you build a Faraday cage and you put yourself inside of it, the theory is that you're not going to be affected by electromagnetic radiation. But I think that theory is actually quite flawed today. And we're going to talk about the aspects of why it's flawed. And basically what he's trying to protect himself from is electricity, magnetism, and light. And James Clark Maxwell demonstrated that they're all related. And certainly in the experiment that he's doing, the sparks are electricity. They generate magnetism and they generate light. In fact, they actually generate UV light, which is quite harmful to human skin and human eyes. So he's in a very unnatural environment, and he's been there for three days and three nights, and he's tried to protect himself using this Faraday cage. Well, we're going to talk about magnetic effects on the brain. That's called transcranial magnetic stimulation in the medical industry. They actually use it as a treatment. And basically what they do is they actually put magnets around the head and fire off magnetic fields into the brain to stimulate brain activity. That's basically what our magician has been exposed to for three days and three nights. So it's possible that he's going to walk away from this experiment a changed man because of the stimulation that occurred in his brain from the magnetic fields. And all sparks generate magnetic fields. So uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to watch our magician over the near future to see how he is after such an exposure. If you want to find out more about this, it's on the internet. It's called Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, and its abbreviation is TMS. And there's a whole bunch of information of what it can do to the brain, and it does a lot of very, very strange things. And if you want to find out more about the toxic effects of electrical exposures that he's just gone through, you'll find it in this book. It's called Toxic Electricity by Stephen McGee. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.